this NYX bath bomb and it is called Golden Slumbers Bath Bomb. You can find this bath bomb in the Lush Spa gift set, which I think is getting discontinued. But you can, so if you are dying to have this bath bomb, it's in there. Uh, let's show you what it looks like. I, I feel like this smells like the Dreamtime Temple Bomb and the, um, like the Dreamtime Bath Melt. It's very lavender scented from what I can tell. From smelling it and I think it's gonna give you a gold bath with gold glitter because there's tons of gold glitter all on this baby so golden slumbers was a Beatles song so I wonder what about that song like inspired them to make this bath bomb but pretty much it says remember and this is off the lush website remember how it felt to sleep like a baby neither did we before the invention of golden slumbers bath bomb leave the sheep behind and relax in a black in a bath filled with triple lavender and chamomile to unwind your restless mind and gently lull you off to sleep. So this is triple lavender and chamomile. Can you imagine how relaxing that must be in the bath? I cannot wait to use this, especially on a night where I'm having problems sleeping. I think that that would be really good to help me like unwind and get to bed. And luckily I have two of them and I'm probably going to buy that gift set because it's been calling my name recently and I need it real bad. Oh, I think I got the Dreamtime Temple Bomb while I was at the Lush Spa, but I think that I forgot to bring it down. Oh, so this next one I just couldn't resist. I told myself I wasn't going to buy any of the Christmas stuff because I knew that the Christmas stuff was coming to America. But I couldn't resist with this one because I was smelling it everywhere. I saw it, so it was in multiple spots, and I was like, okay, no, I need to have this. This is the Peeping Santa. This one uh, came out last year as well, and it smells like the Yummy Mummy or the Roller Bath Bomb. It's just this really sweet, overly sweet, strawberry kind of scent, and it is really fresh. And delicious and so I had to grab one of those and I'm gonna use that in a couple of baths I'm really 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 hoping that this one didn't break this is the last one that I'm like you might have broken yeah no it didn't break cool this is the little dragon bubble bar reusable bubble bar it's got ginger oil um, cinnamon leaf oil um, cinnamon clove bud oil so this one's I think it's gonna smell like Christmas but look at it look at it how freaking cool is this and this is gonna be a really big like a lot of baths I was thinking it would smell more like wiki magic muscles but it doesn't but it is definitely like spicy kind of scent um, like fiery you know I guess which is why it's like a dragon you know fiery but it's so cool it like you can just play with it play with it this one would be really cool to like if you had kids I think and it's all glittery with the silver glitter and it's got the dragon's head and the dragon's butt and it's adorable this next one is only gonna come out in select gift sets it said so I had to pick up some since they're selling it individually at Oxford Street and this one's called Satsuma Bath Bomb and it's really cute, it looks like an orange. It has like a little like yellow part here and then the top of the orange and then all around the orange it has all the dimples. And if you had Dashing Santa before, this is the same fragrance as that, but it's just in a different like shape and look this year. It's a little orange and it's adorable. And I think this would be really cute to put at the bottom of a stocking to hold the shape of the stocking, you know? My mom always puts a chocolate orange down there, but I know in the olden days they put an orange down there. Um, in the olden days. But yeah, anyways, I think that would be a really cute idea for that one. The Lang Song Bath Bomb. Um, I'm assuming this one has tons of Yang Lang Lang, but I really love Lang Lang, a Lang Lang. <clears throat> but it looks kind of boring, so I'm interested to see if it does anything cool in the bath. It might just be a plain white bath. But it doesn't smell that like amazing to me. It kind of smells like a powdery, like a powder um, perfume that like maybe a more mature woman would wear. I got another one of those Satsumas. So I'm really trying to speed it up because the sun is going down and it's gonna be it's gonna be bad. I have more videos to film. Okay, and then I 
think the rest of the products that I have are going to be bath oils and I am so excited about all of these bath oils. Oh, these are like super, super wrapped. So I got, I think two, but probably more of the furs. And this is like a coconutty, a sweet coconut shea butter, coconut oil scent. Um, and it smells really good and it looks really cute. Like you just saw like um, little, what are they called? It's like cactuses. And then this one's called shark infested custard. And I've actually, but um, I used this one before, but I didn't record it that time. So I have to get it again so I can show you guys. But it smells like hair custard. If you've smelled hair custard in the stores, it's just a super, super sweet, vanilla, sticky, like want to eat it kind of scent. And it's amazing. This one's probably the coolest bath oil in my opinion. And it's called Cloak of Invisibility. And I got two of them, I believe. I might have gotten more. Yeah, I got more than two. But this one I don't want to touch because it looks like it's melting. But can you see that? It's like gold. And it smells like something that I recognize, but I can't put my finger on it. Ylang Ylang, rosewood, jasmine. Oh yeah, it's very jasmine-y. That's what I'm smelling a lot of, I think. Oh, this is one that my husband really wanted, so I got him some of them. And this one's called Ginger. I really, really wrapped some of these up really good. So these ones are like little golden balls. And they smell like if you smell the Boo um, bath oil that just came out for Halloween. They have the same fragrance. It's called the Ginger Fragrance from Lush. It's just very earthy, ginger, like gingery food, you know. This one I'm super excited about called I Am a Radiant Being. It's adorable little stars like this. I got two of them. This one's really sour smelling. Kind of like a sour, but like has like rose or something in it too. Sicilian lemon oil, geranium, rose. Yeah, I think that's mainly the scents it looks like. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to hurry because I know that this video is getting long. I got two more of the furs. That was the one that looks like um, the little cactuses. I got two more of the shark infested custard. That was the one that, had, that smells like hair custard. Ooh, I think I got three of this one. It's called Mons Monsieur Gustave. And it has, like, lavender in it. I'm pretty certain. Yeah, and I got three of these. Ooh, they look like they melted a lot. But they're purple. Like a dark purple. Ooh, I got it on my nose. But yeah, super, super, super lavender -y scent. Um, I don't know what else is in there. I'm going to do like full reviews of like all of these products, so don't worry, I'm sorry I'm not doing um, this a whole lot of justice. Um, I got two of the Cloak of Invisibility bath oils that was the little like ones that looked like flowers with um, gold glitter on it. This one is the Lime Pastel, and of course this one smells like Lime Pastels, which is a candy, like Lime Gummy candy that they have in England. And I got three of these, I believe. And I would be interested to smell this next to a Calacas scented thing because Calacas is supposed to smell like lime pastels too. But I don't know if this is exactly the same, but I can't tell straight right now because I'm trying to hurt you guys. I'm trying to be good. Ooh, and then I've had this one before because they sell it on the Lush UK website. Um, and I bought it with a kitchen order before. The Dreamtime bath oil. And I think this has the same scent as Golden Slumbers. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure this has the same scent as Golden Slumbers. It's a chamomile and lavender. So it's just super relaxing and just scrumptious. Mm. And then I guess this one's called Double Vitality. I can't remember this one at all. Let's see what's in here. Double Vitality. Oh, I think I remember. It's another one that's like shaped like stars. Yes. So these ones are like like stars, like star macaroons. It looks like this one has something else on it. Oh, this one's like peppermint or spearmint. Wow. That's like a really wake you up scent. Kind of like more spearminty than than pepperminty I think. Very, very strong. Wow, that one's really cool. 
And this one they had last year at Christmas time and they had it again this time. I think it's a little bit more expensive than the other ones. I think it was like £2.50 rather than £2. And this one's called Snow Bath Melt. And it looks like a snowball. And it holds its shape way better than the other ones. I don't know what's up with this. And this smells like a candle. This smells like a... Like a citrus and pine candle I think mm, it smells really good uh, that one should be out I feel like that one needs to come out like in all the stores because it's really really good and then I got the Oxford Street uh, Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics and then on the back is this Oxford Street tote bag this is a really heavy duty amazing tote bag and I got the Lush Oxford Street Exclusive Knot Wrap, which is really small, which kind of is disappointing because I can't really like wear it or make it into a bag or anything because it's so small. But it's alright. It's still really cute. And my husband's British and he loved it. So I got that. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that that was probably all the things that I got at Lush Oxford Street. I'm so sorry that it is getting so dark in here. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. The sun's going down. I did not expect this video to take so long. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and let me know if you have any questions about anything or if you want anything demoed like quicker than other things. I will try and get on that. But yeah, I thank you guys so much, so much, so much for watching. And I will talk to you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.